do with what we got. Um, I got a few opening announcements, and then I'll turn it over to uh, Dave Musselman, who will announce the kids and uh, the, uh, our guests for opening day. I want to start by uh, you know just thanking everybody that makes this possible. There's so many people behind the scenes. Every year I try to name them, and I, I forget someone. So I'm not going to name them. I'm just going to say thank you because there is a uh, tremendous amount of people that put time, effort, money into this uh, to make it happen for your kids, your sons, your daughters. Um, and we're just so thankful for that. So everybody that has uh, contributed to helping get this uh, league going again this year, thank you and a good round of applause, please. The next thing I want to uh, say is thank you to our community, our amazing community. Look at the banners in the outfield here. When you're at the pony field, look at the banners there. They're down the left field line now. All these businesses support our children and make it possible financially so we can keep you know, the game reasonable to play, uh, for what you pay to play, and just what we're able to provide each and every game and the experience. Our field, while well, it's underwater today, but we have a really nice field, and that is not possible without our community. There's no way that this is possible without all those names. And I can't thank them enough for what they do for us, but we owe them a round of applause, and we owe them our support in our community. Our youth league was able to get tremendous help from the Booster Club. The Booster Club, you would think, is uh, you know feeds the high school kids, the middle school kids. But I want to say this: if you have a child that has been in extracurricular activities in elementary school, middle school, high school, there's almost a hundred percent chance that the Booster Club has helped them somehow, some way. They helped us. They helped every one of these kids out here with new equipment. We gotta support our booster club. Our booster club needs members and to be able to give back to the league and to the organizations that need uniforms and equipment, we have to support them. So I kindly ask if you are interested in supporting the booster club, see me, see Blake Hardesty, I'll steer you to Blake Hardesty. But we really got to uh, really help them because they help us, they help so many organizations and so many sports. And uh, I, I really, really, really want to support them. Likewise, the Optimist Club, they helped us this year as well, and they do every year. They're a tremendous organization. They do so much for our community, and they need help. And, that, and, and I don't know about joining that club. I don't know how that works, but I know that they're always accepting people to pick pumpkins and to do things to volunteer. But another tremendous organization in this awesome community that we have that we need to support. The Booster Club, the Optimist Club. Thank you both, for whoever's here that's on those clubs, for supporting us. I will uh, turn it over to Dave Musselman. We will start with T-Ball. Parents, don't be mad at me when they come home muddy, okay? But, uh, I wanted this parade to happen for them because this is the highlight of their year every year. Throwing candy in a parade. If you ask these kids if they want to play a game, some of them might say yes, but they want that darn parade. I can tell you that right now. So, thank you for bearing with us, and I'll turn it over to Mus. All right, good. Welcome to the Hey, Packer, you're up. We're up? Yep. Hey, right here's the air. Let's go. Let's go.
Never, 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 never
Ladies and gentlemen, Rochester Mayor Trent Odell. 